about something interesting. Uh, usually I'm not the person to watch the game. Some people, they really like it, you know, to watch it uh, like a contest, you know, like watching uh, basketball, like soccer, you know, like, I don't know, ice hockey, whatever comes to your mind. I have some friends, you know, from the top chess, you know, like they say, like, okay, let's go, let's watch, now it's the time, terrible time. Let's watch the side notes, you know. I never took a big uh, joy out of it, you know. These people sitting there, very nervous, you know, like, first of all, you associate yourself. I mean, uh, with them, so I have a heart or some dislike to watch uh, the games uh, from the tournament. Or maybe five minutes I stay there, then I withdraw myself from the tournament. Probably I am the best friend for arbiters, no? Yeah. Have you ever seen me watching a game in Parachin? No, yeah, like when I finish my game, I disappear, usually. <laughs> okay, but uh, I was watching this game from the screens. And uh, I mean, I was surprised. Because Goryachkina, I mean, uh, who was the leader in this tournament, obviously 14 years old, 2400 uh, rating. Okay, rating part, it doesn't matter. It changes, you know, with time, you know, with who you play, in which part of the world you play, in which tournaments you play. But she is obviously really strong. To be the leader of any tournament, even sometimes, you know, to eventually to pull this tournament together. These things are really important. But uh, on the other hand, I mean, she really played very good games. Then she drew one game. This is some setback. She started this game badly. That's also there. But then she made some nice tricks by the help of her opponent. Uh, who played a little bit uh, too positional. In some way, she has told uh, in press conference that, uh, well, positional chess is not for children. That's true. On the other hand, what happened, how they came to this position was because of a little bit too positional play by black. You know, in order to convert your advantage, you have to put the dynamics into the game. And unfortunately, I would, I would say that for this game, uh, she couldn't have shown it. She really couldn't have shown it. And uh, here, that's the important thing. This is move number 41. So they passed the time control. White has the luxury of having 30 minutes plus whatever she carried from the first time control. I, I don't really remember, but uh, obviously, even if she had uh, one minute less than one minute, she has 30 moves, sorry, 30 minutes here. In some way, I always confuse because over the chessboard, the unit for time is a move. But also in a game, we have the conception of how much time we have here. Now, these days, there are a lot of talks for, you name it, children's chess, children in chess, youth championships, talents, wonder boys, you know, all this stuff. But usually, as uh, one may already understand, the crucial point is not the games played by children against children. The games played against adults. Unfortunately, children today, they have some bad habits. In the past, people I know probably would have played this game in uh, really badly in another stage, but passing move 40, having 30 minutes, would show the patience 
to sit there and to calculate. Because this is the chance for white. The first move is obvious. But believe or not, she has taken the bishop on e4, which is equal to resignation. Which is a very bad label. You know, this is, uh, I mean, she was leading the tournament and she had this position and she took on e4 when, in some way, a tempo. A tempo, she just, knight takes e6, f6, quickly came over the screen. Knight e6, f6, queen takes e4. She even didn't think. Now, simple piece of calculation, queen e7, check. Obvious that the king, when comes this checks from the 8, cannot circle to f5 with the queen on e8, queen h5 will be checkmate. This is quite simple. So, which leaves us to go to that direction. Kick on h6. So, we give this check. Once again, this is a repetition. It is not like checks from long distance that you have to calculate after fifth move on which square you will give the check. Here, it's simple. So only it, it leaves uh, black to try for something, to go with the king on h5. Now both lines, in my opinion, they are working. Number one is just to take it. Number two is to give check queen f7 and after bishop g6 to take it. Let's start one by one. Let's try to take queen takes f6. Okay, the queen has to protect. Also, I mean, in a good day, with queen a5, maybe I may try f3, g4, I, want to, I may try to win the game. So that's why this is really required. But one way or another, we end up now into the same Simple mechanism, which is a draw by perpetual checks. We could have also achieved the same by first giving check after black shuts the bishop, intercepts the diagonal. Now we take once again a move in the diagonal will be resulted by this perpetual check. I mean, F3 is a little bit too much because uh, black has the. I mean, black gives checks from down, you know, so. King cannot go to h3 because of f1 square. Now you have to go here. Probably it's a draw. But uh, I was really surprised uh, and in a negative way because we got this upcoming player, 2400 player in all the times. It's a serious coefficient. She plays well, she is leading the tournament, uh, she really had a good time. Still, she is in contention for the first places. And all she had to do is just to spend all her time. She could spend 25 minutes and to resolve this thing, which is not very difficult. This is not a case of long distance checks. This is not a case of, you know, there is one square, you go there, everything happens in the same part of the board. And uh, basically she resigned in this part. Uh, part. And also from, I don't know if the other one has noticed, uh, I have to ask the uh, Zhenya Surov. So there, this was mentioned in the 
press conference. Uh, it was not press conference. It's ah, it was small, yeah, it was, but because I have seen it. It was our uh, comment. Oh, uh, sorry, but, yeah. But, but uh, I asked Nino, and uh, I, she said that uh, she didn't even see anything uh, you showed. Well, she was forced because she already lost the control. By this nice positional play with Queen C8, everything, she, she, they played a couple of moves, you know, uh, which were uh, sort of uh, forced for her, otherwise it, uh, White's activity was getting very dangerous. But, uh, okay, once again, this is uh, food, uh, food for thought, as they say, for Goryachkina, when, when and if she wants to improve more, I mean, uh, she has to mature up. In some way, she should show some, uh, you know, older person's behavior to sit over the board. Now you have all this time, burn it, think, consider. Then, if really queen takes e4 is forced, do it. But here, it's like even even in a blitz game, people would give check from the other side, which is once again, this is not a blitz game. She has 30 minutes. She really has to. She really had to stay over the board, uh, and uh, I am very positive about uh, her chess. I hope it was a momentary setback, and that's all for this part of the day. So now do the as usual. <laughs> the closing. Okay, so uh, today we saw um, first game was really really nice by uh, Grandmaster Kostanyuk uh, with the uh, novelty and also. Uh, Great realization and uh, great understanding of the end games. So thank you, uh, Suat, again, and uh, see you again at 6:30 with uh, the small uh, sort of review of the ongoing uh, games. As I see that you were checking a little bit. I was checking my wife's games. game, yeah, because she got uh, so real stunt at some moment. I it mean, it should be interesting. Maybe we will still uh, have a few uh, good candidates for tomorrow's. Uh, Conference. Everybody should see. have one game. <laughs> we will see. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you later. Bye.